And welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Last time, we went over NES games and some stuff that is not true about Mr. Rossetti. Well, it depends on what version of the game you're playing, to be more precise, but that's a story for another time. This time, we are going to do the sale that Nook wrote to us and accidentally deleted the letter off screen, so unfortunately, you couldn't, re couldn't read it, but... Nook said something about doing some sort of special rarity sale. So that'll be interesting to check out. Uh, are you lucky we ha happen to be having a special event today? Free balloons for everyone. Um... Okay. An exotic bureau is the only thing he actually has. Yellow b balloon. We already have a yellow balloon, just wanted to point that out. Might as well buy it, because this is rare, I think. I think it's a rare item, actually. Um, you yeah, actually do get raffle tickets even at these special events. What do we have? Trial Bite. Plazio. And Tricera. Tricera. I don't know if those are in the museum yet. I'll have to actually manually go and check. So that sale was kind of underwhelming. Let's talk to people then. Wait up a second, where are you going? By gum, I'm making my business, we won. Sneaking around like that with a wicked little green grin on your face, you're up to something I can tell. Uh, okay. You don't have to, but it would be funnier for me. Uh, I'm not here to entertain you. Okay. That was an insightful conversation. <laughs> okay. If I don't get some food in me, I'm gonna flip my wig. I'm so serious right now. What's that? Oh man, you're just in time. You brought me, you brought me something to eat. No, of course you didn't. That's all you need. So I must be in a good mood. It's so bright and peppy today. Peppy you like a hair. That's an inside joke. Um... Someone else moved in, so we might as well talk to them. Uh... Up top. Okay, Axel, yeah, we met Axel, I think, off screen or maybe on screen. I don't remember. Um, and it's actually also possible to get to give a give the mayor some advice to get a second build uh, bridge built, though I don't remember how to trigger this. Uh, let's go to the museum now and donate the stuffs. I'm gonna go and check first. Um. This is... which one? This is the Plesio. So Plesio... Neck. So this one, we already have all those, so we don't have to worry about that. And... The Tricera... Tail, I think? So it's the tail... And it definitely has its tail. So we can actually sell all three of these. I wish I had known that, so I wouldn't have to run all the way back. This is going to be one of those types of episodes where we just run in circles, basically, throughout the entire thing. Because it's kind of late to be saying that, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, greetings are hard, actually. Yep. Oh good, I knew your birthday was on August 22nd. I was, well, I was pretty sure. It's so easy to forget people's birthdays. Oh, but I'm sure I won't forget your birthday now. No pressure. Okay, there's a tent. Not a cool tent, but just a tent. That is a Pokemon joke. From the stadium? I think? I'm popularized in a Let's Play, do you know that much? Um, Boris. He sounds grumpy. With a name like Boris. He is a pig. Oh, Boris. Okay, I get it. Got a problem with that? Because I'm real good at fixing problems, you get me? It's much better, I certainly hope that I'll be glad to know you. Wow, can't wait for him to be gone. His neighbors with Cube, no less. And same dialogue, it's punchy. Except without the little murf sounds. I just got this amazing idea. Why don't we trade something of yours for something of mine? Sure. Um. Oh good, that was actually very lucky. That was actually very lucky, because... Um, the trilobite 
fossilettes. And also the single fossils are actually the least valuable. All the ones that are basically parts of other dinosaurs are actually worth quite a bit to resell. So actually the fact that he took that one was very, very fortunate. Otherwise we would have to do a little bit of bell scrambling for the next section. Uh, because we're actually almost ready to pay off the debt again. Off screen I've been sort of chipping away at it. Um, fishing and stuff like that. <laughs> Nothing to choose from to be more precise, but so... So that, that, that. We, I, we don't need any more uh, raffle tickets because off screen I have like 10 sets. So, it's pretty much the case that we don't need anymore, so we're not going to really do that. Uh, we're not going to save them anymore, we're just going to sell them. He won't pay you, he'll just take them off your hands, but that's better than nothing. Okay, we have 20,000 bells, and if I'm remembering right, and if I set everything up properly off screen, um, we should be able to go into the post office. And pay off our debt. If not, then we will have to go and get more bells. Yep, perfect. Um, I couldn't remember if I actually paid off the 20,000 when it was at 40,000. Otherwise, we could have been in trouble. Debt repaid again. So... It's also Saturday, so we can talk to KK later. Um, stop running into things. It's one of those days. Um, what else was I going to talk about today? Yeah, really, the special sale was all we really needed to do. But it was a really lame sale, unfortunately. So, I guess we can just pay off our debt. Well, thanks much. I very much appreciate your paying off your entire loan. Yes, I value it greatly, I do. So how does it feel to live in a house that big? Hmm, nice, eh? Luxurious, hmm? Quite fancy, yes. Hmm? You have so much stuff you can't fit it all in, even with that much room. Um... <laughs> I'm only kidding a little bit. That's reassuring. A larder? Okay. Oh, hey, cool. Basement. Um, now, I'm, I can't remember what the next upgrade after the basement actually is. I don't remember what it actually is. If it's another floor? I think it's another floor. And I'm, we're getting close to the end, I'm pretty sure. Um, the house is actually kind of a mess, if you're wondering. Because um, I just put all the raffle tickets out in the open. Um, kind of nice, roomy. Cluttered. Very much cluttered. What was that? HRA. Um, okay, so we're slowly moving up the ranks of getting a decent point total. That's good. So now that we're done with all the nook business, I guess we can cut to KK Slider. So just one moment. And we're back. Guess, I think you actually get special dialogue. Hey man, don't stand way over there. Why don't you come up to the front row? So yeah, you do get special dialogue there. Just want to point that out. So, you know it. Same dialogue as always. So we'll just... Eh, I don't feel like it. KK Western.
Thanks for listening. Let me give you an air check for KK Western. This is the same dialogue as before. Um, one thing I actually forgot to point out is that KK is actually designed and named after the composer of this game, Kasumi Totaka, who did the music for the Yoshi's Island games as well, in addition to providing the voice of Yoshi. Just a little fun note. Anyway, head back to our place. Our very cluttered place. Take it fair, pop in the tune. And then also view my library because we didn't show it. This is the amount of KK songs without in the game. In case. In any case, thank you for watching, I hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing for the GameCube.